Have you heard about the story of St. John Birchman's? Well, you're in the right place. He was born on 13 March 1599 in the city of Diestin, Belgium, to John Charles and Elizabeth Birchman's. His family was poor. Making matters even worse was the fact that Birchman's grew during the political turmoil between the Catholics and Protestants. Given the poor state of the family, he had to work as a servant in order to pay the expenses of school. Nonetheless, he excelled at study and sacrificed play to get time for learning and praying. Birchman's grew as a pious boy and used to receive communion twice a month. He served as an altar server whenever he could. But his life took a severe hit when his mother became bedridden as the consequence of a severe illness. In 1615, the Fathers of the Society of Jesus opened up a college and Birchman's was one of the first to enroll them. He learned about the life of the Jesuits and he wanted to become one of them. He prayed, asked help from his confessor and then at last decided that he will become a Jesuit. His father, on the other hand, did not like this decision. He tried his very best to dissuade him from joining the society. But Birchman's withstood all of this, giving clear replies to those who tried to dissuade him and entered the Jesuit novitiate on 24th September 1616. He was a role model, kind and affable towards others. But sadly, during his novitiate, his dear mother passed away. His father stopped his shoemaking business and became a secular priest. Birchman's was informed that he would have to go to Rome to continue his studies. He wrote to his father to say goodbye. But sadly, his father had already died and this news left Birchman's devastated. While travelling to Rome, he had the privilege to assist the Midnight Christmas Mass as an altar server. He continued his journey and reached the Roman College where he was given the room that had been previously occupied by St. Aloysius. This increased his devotion and Birchman started to live like him. Here, as always, he showed his eagerness to serve at Mass. It was the custom back then that the students of philosophy would serve at Mass every morning. The one that fell for Birchman's occupied a great deal of his time that was valuable to study. Yet, he never asked it to be changed. When it was changed, however, it was only to have him serve at Mass of a father whose infirmities caused Birchman's to be called at any hour in the morning for the celebration of the sacrament. When the sacristan expressed his sorrow, Birchman said, Obedience can never be troublesome, dear brother, especially when it gives one the privilege of serving at the holy sacrifice of the Mass. One day, he participated in a public debate where he defended the Catholic faith. But sadly, as he returned, he was seized with the Roman fever. Birchman's subsequently died on 13th August 1621 due to dysentery and high fever at the age of 22. He was subsequently beatified on 28th May 1865 and canonized on 15th January 1888 by Pope Leo XIII. His feast is celebrated every year on November 26th. He is the patron saint of altar servers. John Birchman's is a source of inspiration to live our life according to the call of God, no matter how much of a stiff resistance you have to put up with. We also have to understand that it was under the good guidance of his parents that Birchman's was able to be amazingly kind and affectionate. Birchman's had such a special devotion to the Mother of God that he signed a vow with his blood to defend her immaculate conception. He became a saint, not because he did extraordinary deeds, but because he did ordinary deeds with extraordinary perfection. He used to say, If I do not become a saint when I am young, I shall never become one. And that is the story of St. John Birchman's. If you want more videos like the one you are watching right now, subscribe to Fantastic Catholic, where we will be uploading many 
many videos like this soon. Don't forget to leave a like and share how you felt after watching this story in the comment section. Thank you and God bless.